Okay, so for those of you who don't know me, um, I just finished studying a four-year degree in fashion and business. Um, I studied at the University of Pretoria, which is based in Pretoria, Gauteng area in South Africa. So probably all, all the people who are watching this video now when I'm releasing it um, are my family and friends. Um, and obviously you guys already know this about me. Um, but this is really just for the people that I know that anyone can watch these videos on YouTube and so for those people who don't know who I am, my name is Lorenzo Nicholas, born and raised in South Africa, tiny little town called Peter Maritzburg. Um, really that's in Queensland Natal, very small, you could literally drive through it and not know you're driving through it kind of thing. Um, but it's beautiful and I love having grown up there. Um, I think this video is going to be a bit blurry, but like I'm going to try to fix the situation. If it's blurry, deal with it. I don't know what's happening. Anyway, so yeah, I grew up in Peter Maritzburg, um, went to the Midlands often, had family there, beautiful, like honestly, my childhood was so great. Then moved to Gauteng to study, loved what I studied. Um, it was your yeah, fashion and business and I graduated in the December of 2018 um, and now I'm in the state. Yeah, that is who I am. Um, that is where I currently am in my life. Yeah, I just thought it would be a fun idea to document these three months and after that in my life. I think maybe doing this for a little bit of like self-growth. I mean, I have never really been one to like video everything in my life and so for me this is a way of putting myself out of my comfort zone, doing something that I wouldn't normally do and I think that is so good. There we go. Not so blurry anymore. I don't know why it keeps on blurry, not blurry, blurry. I'm a firm believer that like we should do things that push us out of our comfort zone. Um, and so hence the video diary and Raja on the 22nd of Feb, so we'll see, hope the videos are okay, um, but yeah, this is just pretty much, it's what's starting as a video diary documentation. Anyway, super exciting, um, so yeah, we will see, um, I'll try and keep you involved in as much of my journey as I can, um, when I remember to take the camera with me, one, two, when I don't feel like I'm filming awkwardly in public so that's I need to work on that because I just feel like people stare when you whip out a camera in public um, so yeah I need to need to work on that but I'll take you along on as much of the journey as I can without further ado this is what my first week has been like I only video it twice so you only got to see twice but uh, a lot of sitting at Starbucks and drinking coffee and eating good food was involved in between well, this whole week, pretty much. everything that happened um, this first week but it kind of just time ran away um, it didn't really work out that way um, I was just like super busy settling in seeing everything again it's so nice to be back and I did some shopping today so I'm gonna show you what I got super exciting so pretty much this week arrived on Friday last week being the 22nd of Feb um, and yeah I kind of just came back to my sister's apartment which is where I am now um, unpacked then we went and did some grocery shopping um, I think I videoed maybe like the next day or something hey 
Okay, so today we are going to North Park Mall first, stop into Sephora, and then we are going to uh, Wild Detectives. Wild Detectives. Wild Detectives. Which is a bookstore and a coffee shop. Um, Tara kind of explained it like a bit of a tree house, so we'll <laughs> see what Love it looks it. like. My favorite spot. Yeah, so that's pretty much the plan for today, but. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we'll show you where we're going and super, super excited. It's such a beautiful day in Dallas. I'll let me show you. You can see, really beautiful. So, let's see. Okay, so, we're just going to Sephora now and now we on our way back home. We just stopped at the 7-Eleven. Tara's just getting some things. And then we are heading on to Wild Detective. So I'm so excited. So pretty much um, then today, I kind of just took like a bit of a break day from working, if you can call that not really, but whatever. And did some shopping. So without further ado, that's what I bought. For those of you who know me, um, thinking of Dana right now, she's like one of my best friends from home. Um, every single time I buy a pair of sunglasses, she is literally like, why are you getting the sunglasses? Like, I just have a thing, like I just need to get sunglasses all the time. If I see a pair and I like it, I'm about the sunglasses. So I got this pair today. I think they're quite nice. Personally, I like the shape, the color, the fit, all really nice. So these sunnies are from American Eagle. Um, I've become like super interested in beauty products lately and just like what to buy, what's good for your face, researching like different face types. Um, so I bought, so the first item that I bought is this. There we go, the Ordinary. It's basically a face serum. Um, so it's got niacinamide with 10% and zinc 1% and it's basically for those people who have like blemishes on their skin and just wanna like refresh their skin, remove the blemishes, that kind of thing. So basically you put this on after your um, toner but like before your moisturizer. So I'm keen to try that. And then I got this, which is Natural Moisturizing Factors and Hydration Formula um, and HA, I'm not sure what HA is. I know, I just don't know right now. Um, so this is basically just a moisturizer because I am out. Then the next thing that I got from Urban Outfitters is this Witch Hazel and Rose Water Toner. And I've heard so many good things about Rose Water. Um, so I decided to give it a try. I've seen people spray it on their face in the morning, people spray it on their face when they want hydration. People, yeah, obviously use a toner, refresher, put on their beauty blenders when they're going to put their makeup on. Just all around heard good things. As well as witch hazel, so I thought combination, ah, why not? I got this Skin Gym. This. Bad boy. I've been wanting one of these for so long. Um, Rose Quartz, Jade Roller, pretty much. Um, it's like a, you can feel it's cold, so these are like a semi precious stone. Um, I got this amino acid and acid. No, not so. It's just amino acid. Cleanse and tone for your face, neck, and eyes. Clean skin gel. That's pretty much what it looks like. Sephora collection um, ingredients from Natural Origin. This is basically just a face wash because I'm also out of that. So yeah, pretty much just got that for that reason. Okay, and then also from Sephora, I got this 10 hour wear protection foundation, oil free by Sephora. That's pretty much what it looks like. 
funny story. I was in the shops and I was like, um, to the lady, you'll probably don't even want to know this, but whatever. Oh, yeah, I really want a foundation that like really matches my skin tone. Like I don't want it to be too dark. Like I also just want it to be like super light. Like I don't want to, I like, I'm not the kind of person who like puts a lot on my face. Like I'm just like foundation, powder, and then like eyeshadow, maybe mascara kind of thing. But I'm not like contour, highlighter, like, not that that's bad like if you like doing that go for it like I just personally feel like I would look like an idiot putting it on because I don't know how to do it properly so I just don't do it but I should try it out someday anyway back to the point of the story yeah I was looking through the different colors and I was like oh maybe like this one this one I was like you know what I think like this one's gonna look really good on my skin so the lady was like okay well can I just like take you some of your makeup off taste on your face for you so I was like a hundred percent like that would be <laughs> so great so then she like takes some of my makeup off like on my chin area so I was like, can you just put this on? Like, I really think it's going to be good. And she puts it on. It's like so dark on my face. I'm literally like, Renza, what are you thinking? Like, you are not tan. You have never been tan. <laughs> Nor will you ever be tan. Because you just don't have that kind of skin tone. So I'm now light. And then I didn't argue with her when she gave me the powder to match. This one. Because she knows what she's talking about, like that one she picked out without even like putting on my skin. And when she did put on my skin, it literally matched my skin so perfectly. So that is all that I bought today. That is all for today. I will link all the products that I got below. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Like, subscribe. Everything will be linked below. I hope that you all have a beautiful, beautiful day. Ciao!